All right, guys, we're coho fishing right on the Illinois and Indiana border. Just fishing this riprap. I got. Oh, the board. You got the board? Oh, let me get yeah, it. Yeah, I got it. We've we've caught I think three cohos landed, and uh, just one. We're just trolling cranks, but I think we found like a little hot spot area. This will be our fourth fish. Just using little crankbaits, just like you would. You know, early season spring calls and it's we've had a really weird season because uh, these cohos shouldn't be here this time of year but they are we're here real early there's a coho for you jeez they just they're they're crazy whenever they hit you a nice looking fish nice looking fish though you can see that we're just using those little crankbaits. It's real easy. We're just following this break wall right here, and this guy slammed it. But definitely gonna need pliers to get this out. But this is our fourth, fourth one, one now. In the fourth box. one in the box. Yeah. We're four out of five. Yeah, but I mean, we've been trolling the whole morning, and we just in the past 40 minutes have had three. So. All right, guys. This is the same rod. I just let this one back out. Same. This is literally same like rod, four bait. or five minutes later. It's definitely another coho. The line? Yep. Good. Same bait, same rod. Just literally less than five minutes later. I'll slow the boat down a little bit. Oops, get him on hook. Get him in, get him in, get him in. Nice. That's the fifth one in the boat now. Yeah. They're all around, you know, this this size right here. But they just come straight up to the surface. Oh, he right just away. barely got it too. Barely. I could probably take it out. Yep. Yeah. Don't even need pliers. Alright. Nice, nice little coho. Alright, let's get some more. Alright guys. Ended our little trip here. Half day trip right on the uh, Illinois-Indiana border. If you guys know where 87th Street is, where our perch fish is, we're literally right in front of there, along with the Calumet River. So all we did today was troll the, uh, the break wall with the little crankbaits. Uh, probably depth anywhere from uh, 10 to 20 feet, really. But as you guys what the cohos look like this time of year, early in the, early in the season. And uh, just in a couple months here, they'll be a quarter of the size bigger, if not more. But we got five. Uh, we got a couple flurries. We got one double. But a um, little hot spot on the break wall. We pounded to get our five. But I mean, nice fish. It's fun. And they're, of course, they're great eating. But literally, right, right offshore, right on, right on the break wall. Anyone can do this. We only had four planer boards out the entire time too. So, and of course you got the guys out with spoons and everything. But this, this time of year they're shallow. You, you guys don't need, you know, dipsy divers or anything. You just come out here with cranks, just like you're kind of fishing for walleyes. But not a not a bad bad five fit five cohos for this this early in the in the season here. But don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and then I'll see you guys in the next video.